Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So right now the Kickstarter for the HCC module is currently going on and as I mentioned I would be periodically releasing projects that will utilize the HCC module so you can see what you can do with it. And today is no exception. Uh, when I was live streaming the other day I made this um, hotkey keyboard using Cherry MX switches while I designed the board and today we'll build one using the HCC mod, program it, and maybe you want to make your own. Let's go. assembled and I've got this little I've just been testing it this little rainbow program going on here but uh, all the buttons on I didn't have clear keycaps but you just kind of have to imagine how awesome it would look with them anyways I'm gonna show you the program I wrote wrote real quick show you how it works so that you can use it and you can program in your own hotkeys whatever you want to do Let's get to it. So let's see here. So we got this keyboard.h that lets it act like a keyboard. Uh, we're using the um, dot star, so we'll use the Adafruit dot star library. So we got eight of the pixels on there, and for this board, I actually use the I squared C lines. I don't know why I did that, but it's uh, GPIO 32 and the clock pin is 33. Then we've got the buttons, and since the buttons are on random pins. I've decided to go with this button being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and same for the LEDs. So we see we've got the LEDs in an array here, but they're actually on the board they're in order going like this, but I want them to be numbered this way. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is LED three, two, one, zero, and four, five, six, seven. And then uh, we define some keys for the keyboard, control key, the left windows key, and uh, left shift key. And then we define the dot star strip that's on here. This just initializes the strip as it says. And then we take all the buttons and we turn them into internal pull-ups. So they're, when you press them, they're pressing ground. And we'll get rid of this. This is the rainbow program, the example that I'm showing you here gone. So we set the strip to white every time and uh, it sees if any of the buttons are low. It's just looking to see if the button is pushed and then you set what you want to do. So this first one does control and then presses C at the same time and it sets that light to red and then it that makes it turn red on the strip. Delays 100 milliseconds and then it lets go of the button. So what the keyboard library does is when you do a key pressed it presses it indefinitely until you release that key. So if you release all, it'll release all of them. So then button one, it's all the same. This one's control V, so copy and paste. Why not? They're easy, right? Then we have control Z, so undo, and control Y is redo in some programs, not Photoshop. Uh, same thing's happening every time, it's just setting that LED red. Then we go button four, this is the Windows key M, I like that, it shows, it makes, it minimizes all the windows and then the last three I don't have anything for. So we'll program that. Upload. It's playing the rainbow. It's not going to be colorful anymore because we're getting rid of that. RX and TX LEDs on the HTC module working fine. This soldered amazingly well by the way. <laughs> there we go. They're all white. That's just what it's on and obviously it would look way cooler if I had clear keycaps but I don't. So now these ones don't do anything so we can test them and it won't affect the computer. As you can see, it turns red when you're pressing it. Let's see, we'll bring up Notepad. 
get rid of that. Alright. Hello world. And then we'll select it, highlight it, control C, control V, control V, control V, control V, control V. Uh, undo, redo. Very cool. And minimize all. Awesome. Perfect. It's working. So it's as easy as that. You saw how easy it was to put this together and these circuit boards will be available on my like PCB way store and also on GitHub and also probably on OSH Park. I'll upload them there. And I actually made two of these so I'll probably give one away. And I've also got a whole bunch more of those PCBs so I might include them in a few random backers on the Kickstarter. Which is going really well and the next project is even cooler so be sure to subscribe maybe go check out the kickstarter and i'll see you on the next hcc module project all right see ya really need to order some keycaps i stole these from my keyboard <laughs>